What's up guys, Sam here back with another video. Now today's video is going to be super quick. I'm just going to show you guys another FRP bypass method that I stumbled across. And this time it's going to be for an LG device, alright? Now this video is not going to be very pretty, but the content is there. And if you guys are anything like me, you guys know that I do prefer content over the prettiness sometimes. I was at work while I recorded this, so I just took my phone out and kind of recorded what happened, alright? So without further ado guys, let's get this video started. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi. So once you've connected to your Wi-Fi, go back to the main screen, click on accessibility, then after that, click on vision, then after that, click on top back, after that, scroll down to the end, click on text to speech output, then click on the little settings icon right there, click on settings for the Google text to speak engine, then click feedback. Now after that, just click on Term of Service. Now once you click on Terms of Service, it should bring up the browser. Just go ahead and go into the Chrome browser. Do not sign up or sign in. Now once you're in the browser, just go ahead, type anything into the address bar. What you're trying to do here is get some text to be able to highlight it so you can move to the next step. So if you're not able to highlight anything on the screen right away, you can just go on a website. It doesn't really matter. Click on a website and then highlight some text and then click on the three dots and click on assist. Now once you've clicked on assist, the Google Now page will come up. Just go ahead, tap into the bar right there and search for settings to go into the settings menu. Now once you're in the settings menu, go ahead, scroll down, go into the app section, click on the three dots on the right, click on show system and you're gonna scroll down and look for setup wizard. It's not gonna be the first one, it's gonna be the second one. Now go into that and force close it, come out and then go into storage and clear the cache. Now after you've cleared the cache, what you need to do is go back out, scroll down and look for Google Play services. What you need to do is force close it and disable it as well. However, if you see right here, it's not highlighted. So what I had to do was another workaround, all right? Now for this particular part, I actually stopped recording because it wasn't really working how I expected it to. So I kind of just put the phone down. I was trying to figure out how to do this and I did figure it out, but I didn't catch that part. So bear with me, it did work. This is exactly what I did, but I just didn't catch that part, all right? So what you have to do is just go ahead and deactivate Android Device Manager. And once you've done that, go back to Google Play Services and it should be highlighted. Um, from there, you can go ahead, force stop that, as well as disable it. I can go into the storage, clear the cache, and then restart the device. Now, once you've restarted the device, just go to where you have the Wi-Fi connected, hold down on the Wi-Fi that you're connected to, and click on Forget Network. Then you're going to see the next button highlighted, so you can go ahead and continue with the setup process. Now once you're inside the phone, go into the settings menu and look for backup and reset and just factory reset the phone and that's pretty much it, alright? Now some of you guys might be thinking that once you're inside the browser section, you could just go ahead and download the bypass FRP APK. However, I did try this, it didn't work as you guys can see here that I did download it but I was unable to install it because the install from unknown sources was blocked. So this is the best method that I found to bypass the FRP on this particular LG. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for me in this video. That's how you bypass the FRP on LG device in 2017. Now the security patch on this phone was actually May. So yeah, it's pretty recent. I do hope you guys found this very helpful. If you did, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, alright? As always guys, my name is Duckcoin. You guys stay awesome and I'll catch you in the next video. Zoom. Mm -hmm.